I'm a big supporter of entrepreneurship and here at MIT we have wonderful resources for students and faculty who want to start a company. Um, the reason I support entrepreneurship and, and the reason I've done it myself is uh, you know, we often work in the lab and we work on theories and we, we create demos. Um, but at the end of the day, you want your research to have impact. You want it to be used by people in the real world. And, and to, to me, that's the real reward and the real value. So um, when I finished my PhD, I, um, I, I did a few startups. And um, I, think, uh, I, I think at the end of the day, um, uh, you know, whether your startup you know, sinks or swims, uh, you know, that's the really the, the ultimate test of your idea. Is, is it a good idea? Is it a good solution? Does it provide a value? Is, is there a customer? Are you helping people? So I think having this discipline is really important. And um, the experience of having a startup and surviving on very little money uh, is also very useful for, for faculty who continue at MIT. So it, it's, it's a, it's a, it teaches you what's the the best way to use your resources, you know, how to do a lot with very little. And, um, and I think uh, it's important for sustainability because, um, you know, grants are great, but, but grants end. And even in international development, you know, um, there's millions of dollars in aid, but at that point, at some point that ends as well. So, so if you want to make an invention, if you have an idea, um, this has to be sustainable. And I think uh, making it into a business, or e even if it's not a for-profit, thinking about it as a business um, is an important discipline. You know, how do I make it sustainable? How is it going to continue? How, you know, who's going to maintain it? Who's going to take care of it? How do you do training? How do you do education? How do you get it out there? How do you distribute it? Who are your partners? So you need this whole ecosystem to make something survive and thrive and scale. And that's really hard. And, and that's often not taught in engineering classes at MIT. So when, um, when I was an undergrad and even in the early years of grad school, um, th th there was a little bit of tension between you know, the engineering students and the Sloan students because you, you, we don't really often appreciate what each other does. But, but as I started thinking about, well, gee, you know, um, you know, I'm working with companies and thinking about, well, gee, how, how is this technology going to get out, get out there? You, you really start to appreciate the value of, you know, some, like things like marketing and sales, for example. People aren't going to just magically use their technology because it's the great technology. People don't know about it. You have to lead people by the hand. You have to do a lot of training and education. You have to inspire people, inspire customers, and, and, and sort of drive this need. All these skill sets um, exist at MIT, and I think now, the exciting time is that we're starting to see a lot of integration of these programs at MIT and I think it's a great opportunity and I encourage students even if you don't want to do business ultimately um, you know maybe take a few years off and start a company I think it's a great experience a great way to really learn that that discipline and 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 see things from a different perspective I think making things sustainable is is ultimately you know important for for anything that we do